French Montana hadn't said a word since Chink's guys got arrested, but now he's forced to talk. This is George Tower with JT News. MREC with MREC TV. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1 out. Right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their emails below, their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. E, what's good, man? Salute, JT. I'm so, so good. How are you? I'm great, man. So we're talking about French Montana today. He was asked by Revolt TV today in a long interview of how you felt like, you know, the guys got arrested. Justice mm -hmm. was finally served for Chink's murder. This rarely happens in hip hop. It's usually just an unsolved case. And Facts. French Montana got real quiet. Look to the ground. Now, this was his man, but like there's this weird code in hip hop, right? Where people don't want to see people go to jail. Now, I can understand if somebody sold some drugs or some shit like that. Yeah, that, 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 you don't want to see people go to jail like that. But like if someone's straight up cold blooded murder, that's different. And your friend, yeah. I want justice. What do you think, Rex? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that street code. It sometimes it don't really make no sense with, in certain situations, but especially you know, in the situation with guy that's a rapper and not a street dude. Exactly, but rapper. you know every rapper want to act like they're street. They so, think you know, they're street. Yeah. Yeah, you know we we we're, we're not gonna go too deep into that. We're gonna go into right. the fact that French was emotional talking about this. Right. As you know, he should um, be. He should be. Yeah. That's yeah. his friend. You know, yeah, you you could tell that really, uh, you know, hurt him in a big way. You know, losing Shanks. Yeah. yeah. And and then he also said, you know, like his career was uh, cut short. He was right there on the brink. Absolutely. Of, of being a superstar. I wish he would open up a little more though. Like you know, like it seems like he's still reserved because he's he feels like it's ten years ago. Like it's okay mm -hmm. to like say like yeah, fuck him. They deserve to sit rot in jail, you know? Well, he was just more so, like, that brings closure to, I guess, Chink's wife and, and, and the mother. Like, that brings closure t to, like, you know, them knowing that Chink's suspects was caught yeah. and arrested. He also so mentioned they, stack bundles, too, that the yeah, thing happened. Yeah, he mentioned stack bundles. Yeah. Uh, career being cut short. Yeah. And it's, you know... He put them in a similar paraphrase, mm -hmm. like in terms of their careers and their and they life being cut short. Absolutely. They, they both was on the brink of popping. And then, you know, with him, he also went into um, French. He was basically saying, you don't see Jay-Z hanging in front of Marcy, paraphrasing like, I guess Chinks was supposed to be living in dubai or something you know I, i'm confused here i i, I don't think because chink's wife was pretty much saying like he didn't have it like that you know what i mean he not to dress it up and make it look good yeah but um you know i was a little confused with him saying that i get what he's saying but i don't think you know like yeah. like he, his wife was saying Ch chinks ain't have it like that it was almost like there's a disconnect there because it was like you know yeah chink shouldn't have been living in far rock near far rock anymore wherever you know but uh yeah you knew how much money he had so like he wasn't able to do that or maybe he refused to move i, I, I don't know you know <laughs> I, I don't think that's the case because um that's one thing you do every smart dude from the hood from the streets knows that when you get in a certain kind of money and then people seeing your face on them screens it's time to really raise up yeah you, you know what i'm saying yeah. and, and, and you know i knew chinks personally i know you know okay. chinks I didn't, I didn't know oh you didn't know oh, okay i, I knew chinks met personally him maybe maybe matter I, I wouldn't have remembered but uh yeah i knew he, i was he, close with stack but not chinks yeah you know i met stacks a few times but um yeah chinks you know he's definitely with street smart you dig? So yeah. I know he, I know he's smarter than yo. I'm gonna just keep it real, and just stay up in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't even staying in um Far Rock. You know, I was on that way though. Uh, what's that street going down to Far Rock? That's where he got shot at, right? Where did he get killed at? What street ah. was that? 
I don't know exactly. Somewhere in Queens. It wasn't Far Rock, though. It was on the way. It was on that street going to Far Rock, though, right? On I think it's like road? between Long Island and Queens, if was I'm it? not mistaken. Okay. Where he got, okay. you know, it was right off the highway. I forgot what, where I it was. I thought it was on that weird highway that goes to Far Rock, but maybe I was wrong. Yeah, but, um, you know, you could tell French Montana was bothered by speaking on this. You, he, you could tell, um, I think, what, what's the homie name? Shahid. Shahid. Put him in the hot seat, and he was, like, forced yeah. to kind of speak on this topic that, you know, was touchy for him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because, cause, you know, they caught the suspects, what, like, two months ago? Yeah, like a month ago. Something like that, yeah. It's January. I think I believe it was like November. Yeah, it was like actually it was uh, December, early December. December oh, uh, 14th, okay. December fourteenth. Okay. Remember because so, they had a whole announcement about it. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. December thirteenth. Yep. Yeah, right. So like like a month in in nine days. Yeah. Yeah. So you know. Well, R.I.P. Chinks, man. Yeah, R.P. Chinks, yo, R. French, Stephon. show your head. Yeah. And um, hip hop, man. Let's let's stop kid killing off soon to be legends, man, and and just people in general. Let's stop the hate, man. You know what I mean? All right. Absolutely. Well, guys, make sure you hit that bell, hit that subscribe button on both of our channels, and we'll check you on the next video. And they both legends too now. Oh, absolutely. By default. Absolutely. All right, just their careers was cut short. I don't want nobody feeling the way. Yo, what? Chinks is a legend. Stack is a legend already. What are you talking yeah. about, Rack? You know how people get real emotional and yeah, <laughs> you know, They're RP like, Chinks, Chinks yeah. drugs and stack bundles. Absolutely, they're legendary in their own right. They just didn't reach their yeah. full potential. That's all. Facts. Unfortunately, but I uh, just wanted to, you know, uh, bring clarity to that. Absolutely. All right. All right, guys. Peace. We gone. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1. Now, right now, my mixtapes. Go check them out. Their email's below. Their YouTube's below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug 
right now. Street Unity Entertainment is the label coming straight out of Memphis. They got the album out right now, Street to Street Volume 1 out. Right now, my mixtapes, go check them out. Their emails below, their YouTubes below. This is Pricey featuring Young Don the Plug right now.